Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 1's They Shall Not Pass DLC gave the Assault Class two new weapons to play with, the Ribby Roller 1918 and the Hogren Shotgun. With three more DLCs on deck, history is a little thin on automatic handheld weapons for the World War I timeframe. Battlefield 1 developers haven't released many details about the upcoming DLC packs, but the final expansion, Apocalypse, is said to be focused on unique and improvised weapons. With this information, a particularly obscure weapon comes to mind, and it would fit perfectly into Battlefield 1. At some point during World War I, it appears Germany experimented with a compact machine gun based on the air-cooled MG0818. The weapon uses the same action as the venerable machine gun, but it's been scaled down to Georg Luger's 9mm cartridge. This early submachine gun feeds from an 80-round multi-clip magazine similar to the 1914 Italian Fiat Rivelli machine gun. The clip in the magazine holds eight 10-round columns. Once all 10 rounds in a column are fired, the empty column is then pushed out of a spring-loaded hatch on the right side of the magazine. It's highly likely the next clip in the column automatically moves into position as it does in the Fiat Rivelli. This gives the soldier 80 rounds of rapid-fire capability in a compact package. Unfortunately, not much else is known about the weapon. Its fire rate and even the year of manufacture remain a mystery. Since the action of the gun is shorter than the traditional MG0818, its fire rate could be considerably higher than the MG0818's 450 rounds per minute. In Battlefield 1, this would put it in line with most of the available submachine guns. The weapon also bears some similarity to other period weapons, like the Italian Villa Perosa. The experimental German submachine gun features both a pintle mount and a foregrip, suggesting its intended use was both as a mounted and a handheld weapon. The Villa Perosa also began life as a mounted weapon before evolving into a more mobile gun. This, plus the similarity of the feeding system to the 1914 Fiat Rivelli, indicates the designers may have been familiar with the Italian weapons. Only two examples of this weapon are known to exist, both of them in the hands of the Russian government. Overall, the design of this experimental MG0818 submachine gun has all the hallmarks of an early assault weapon. There are probably a number of mechanical reasons the design wasn't pursued, but perhaps the MP18 was just deemed more practical or the Great War came to an end too soon. Either way, it's a fascinating missing link in submachine gun development. Most of this information comes from Forgotten Weapons, and Ian was kind enough to answer a couple questions and let me use his images, so please be sure to check out their stuff in the video description. The developers behind Battlefield 1 have a history of digging up obscure weapons, like the Austro-Hungarian Stanschütze Hellriegel, and bringing them back from the edge of extinction. Hopefully this experimental German MG0818 SMG will be one of them. There are several other weapons I'd like to see in Battlefield 1, like the Thompson Annihilator prototype, but what about you? What other weapons do you want to see added to Battlefield 1? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and of course, subscribe. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching.